Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Taiwan On. All right, so for this week's video, we're starting out here in the shop. I was sitting at work today thinking about what type of jig I wanted to tie for this week's video. And I figured we'd come out here, I'd show you the fun part of jig tying. As you can see, I got all these materials on the wall behind me. I got a selection of jigs over there. So uh, the fun part is coming out here and just, you know, looking at the wall and kind of putting some stuff together. So, um, but for this week's video, we're going to continue on with the rabbit zonker. Uh, last week we did those two little rabbit zonker Ned jigs and uh, this week we're going to use a poison tail jig and uh, we're going to tie uh, two pieces of zonker onto that um, for like a double tail. So uh, it's going to look pretty cool but I've never done this pattern before so um, we're going to pick out the materials that I was thinking about in my head and uh, you know sometimes they work out sometimes they don't so I'm going to be tying this pattern up for the first time uh, on video tonight so we'll see how it comes out hope you guys like it. And uh, I just want to take a minute to thank all my subscribers for coming back. Uh, greatly appreciated. And if this is your first time tuning in and you want to learn a couple of things about jig tying, um, I'm by no means an expert, but you know I've been doing this for a little over a year, so hopefully I can teach a few things. Um, if you're interested in following along with the channel, uh, please go down, hit the subscribe button, uh, give us a like, and share with your buddies. All right, so we're going to pick some materials off the wall for tonight's jig. Uh, then we're going to go inside and we're going to tie one on. guys so i hope you enjoyed that intro uh so what we're tying tonight this is the poison z jig i call it so this is a poison tail jig i have in the mold uh three eighth ounce and uh the reason it's called the poison tail jig you can see it kind of looks like a scorpion's tail it's got a very unique hook to it uh, i think that's where it got the poison tail from and uh this is a very versatile head um i love using this jig for all sorts of things it's great for a swim jig it's great for a flipping jig. Uh, you could also, um, some guys modify the mold. You can make spinner baits out of it. You could do um, chatter baits. So it's a very versatile head. Um, we're gonna put some eyes in here. It looks really nice when it's done. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start tying this jig up for tonight. Um, the, again, it's called the Poison Z because of the rabbit zonker. So, all right, we're gonna start by putting our base on like we always do. this off. Get a nice base going. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. That's why you need this double keeper here. Um, because this is where we're going to tie our, our rabbit zonker into. And uh, the color we're using is going to be chinchilla. So I'm going to take this out. I have a couple strips of it left. Okay, and then you always want to check and make sure that the material is going in the right direction. So you want it coming up to the tip here, and we're going to make these stick out about an inch and a half 
past the hook, the end of the hook. So I'm going to measure this. That's a good length right there. I'm going to mark it and cut it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to grab the other piece and put it right next to it so that they're the exact same size. So I'm try to match them up from the hides. So you take the two pieces of hide, match them up together. That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna mark it and cut it right there. Okay. Perfect. See, now we got our two identical pieces. So these are gonna be our tails. So what I'm gonna do like I always do, like I did last week with the Neds, I'm gonna pull this uh, little bit of hair off the hide. So this way we could, it's easier to tie it in. See, we're gonna expose it just like that. Same thing with this one. Pull a little bit of hair off. So these are gonna act kind of like claws. For the for the jig and there this is also going to act as our trailer so there's no need for a trailer um with this jig so i like to tie these in at kind of like a 45 degree angle so when the jig is on the bottom they kind of they kind of stand up so i like to get this one on at the right angle and then i'll take we'll make a wrap or two get that in there for perfect now we'll grab our other one a little bit more hair off of here good okay we're gonna put this in and what that um that rear collar does is it really helps make it flare out a little bit and it traps the um the rabbit zonker in so i'm gonna make a couple wraps make sure they're about the same length pretty good and i'm gonna pull this out of the way and see now i got it trapped inside that collar and now i'm gonna wrap it really tight and that's gonna hold it in really well. Make a good collar on there. Nice tight wraps. Good, that's in there nice and tight. And now I'm gonna whip finish to hold it in place. I usually like to go around five or six times. Good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our thread. Now that we got that width finished, we're going to advance it back up to the front. Good. Pull this back. And just for good measure, we're going to seal this up with a little Sally Hansen's. Just to make sure it's in there nice and good. Perfect. And now we're going to just let that tack up for a second uh, while we wait. Um, we're just going to let that tack up a second. I'm sorry. Um, so this way we could put our skirt on because we don't want to get the Sally Hansen's on our skirt. So let's let that uh, dry up for a minute and then we'll come back and continue. Okay, guys. So that tacked up pretty good. Um, we want to just let that dry a little bit. And now we're going to put our skirt on. So this is number 539. Um, from um, fishingskirts.com. It's like a green pumpkin magic craw blue. Uh, this is a great color and it goes really good with this magic craw green pumpkin head. Uh, also, this paint is from um, Fishing Skirts Online as well. It's called the um, uh, Green Pumpkin uh, Camo uh, Magic Craw. So it's a, a great color. So uh, we're going to put our skirt on now. Just like any regular skirt right over the rabbit zonker. Make a couple wraps. Get our length like always. So I like to put the top one on, fold it over, make sure we got a good length. That's pretty good. Make a couple wraps, work our skirt around. Just like all the other jigs we've done so far on the channel, we're just working right over that rabbit's anchor. 
That's good. That's about halfway. Good. Tighten my collar up. And we'll do the other side. Let's get this out of the way. There we go. All right. Put this part on. Again, I like to match these up. Make sure they're the same length. That looks good. A couple wraps. Now make sure everything's nice and even. Let's pull everything back here. Make a couple wraps. And double check it. Make sure you take your time and make sure everything's perfect. That looks good. Pull this out of the way and make some nice tight wraps now. There we go. We're gonna build our collar nice and tight. Then we're going to whip finish. Pretty cool color. I'm liking it so far. I think I like the chinchilla with this magic craw. It kind of has a nice contrast to it. We'll see what the finished product looks like. Like I said, I never did this pattern before, so... Trying something new. All right, We've got our whip finish in. Let's cut it. Perfect. Then again, take our Sally Hansons. Seal it up. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. And uh, you'll see if you guys start using this stuff, it dries hard as a rock. So. All right, good. Let that dry out. Let's make sure our zonker is nice and even. And now we're going to cut our tabs. got all of our tabs cut all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to spread this out and we're going to put our weed guard in um i think with this chinchilla color since we got the green pumpkin it's kind of dark and the chinchilla color is light i think we're going to go with a uh, a clear weed guard on this one i think it's going to help make that chinchilla kind of stand out a little bit so you just want to spread out your um tabs and make sure your skirt's nice and even and then uh let's grab our clear weed guard okay i always like to make sure it fits first before i start messing with glue that's a good tip too i could give you guys always make sure the weed guard fits in the last thing you want to do is put glue in there have glue here and then it doesn't fit in and then now you got glue all over the head it makes a mess I'm gonna put a little dab in here. Good. And I'm gonna put a little dab on the end of here. Good. And then that's all it takes. That'll dry nice and solid. Okay. Yeah, I think the clear looks good with the chinchillas. Uh, Whatchamacallit, rabbit zonker. All right. 
And now next is one more thing left to do. We're going to put eyes on here. Like I said, uh, the poison tail jig uh, takes eyes. So I think uh, we're going to go with these um, dragon eyes. They look pretty cool. I got these from Barlow's. And uh, I'm really starting to like them. I used them on a couple jigs so far. And they do look pretty cool. So I'll show you my tip for doing eyes. Um, basically what I do, I take a little tiny dab of super glue and you want to make it just enough so that it makes a little bead on there that's all you want there's already glue on the back of the eye as you can see it's sticking to my finger so that helps but you need that extra little dab of glue and I like to put this right on it and then what I'll do is I'll take my scissors push them together and I'll use that point and I'll get in there and I'll put a little pressure down just to hold it in place. And you'll see the glue start to slightly push out around the eye, and that's how you know it's gonna seal nice. Good. There's one. As you can see, that one's in already. And then we're gonna do the other side. All right. All right, again, take take your little Loctite super glue. You got to use the gel, though. Otherwise, the other one will run all over. So you take the gel, you make a little bead right there. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but it makes a little tiny bead. That's all you want. And then what you do is you grab your eye. Oh, I got another one stuck to my finger. All right. You grab your eye. And you kind of just let it fall down and it'll float right on top of that bead. The bead will kind of like catch it. And then you take your scissors and you just put a little pressure down. And try and keep everything centered. It'll move around sometimes, but once you put that pressure down, you could see it seal. You'll see the glue kind of go around the hole outside of the eye. And that's how you know it's sealed. Then I just push a little with my finger and that's good. And now one more step to keep these from ever coming off. We take a little more Sally Hansons. Take a little Sally Hansen. So now we got them glued on the bottom and then you just go right over the top of the eye all the way around with little, little Sally Hansons, and that will seal it right to the jig. They'll never come off. You just gotta be careful because there's certain heads that you can't use this on. Like if you use this on a head with a matte finish, it'll it'll ruin the matte finish. Um, so just be careful. But any head that has any type of um, clear shine to it or a clear coat over it, the Sally Hansons will seal those eyes forever. Okay, so we're going to let that dry up. We're going to trim our weed guard down a little bit. We got to get another pair of scissors. I just got these scissors and they're really not that good. Sorry about that, guys. And that should do it. Let's let this Sally Hansen's dry for a sec. And then I'll take this out of the vise and show you what we got. All right, guys. So here's the finished product. I'm really impressed with the way it came out. Uh, it came out really good. Um, I like the way the chinchilla tied in really well uh, with the jig. Um, that, that magic cross skirt with that blue flash to it uh, really goes well uh, with this great chinchilla. And I think uh, these bright eyes help bring it out. Um, also, the head has that uh, blue tint to it. Not sure if you could see it on camera, but this is a, also a Magic Cross style um, paint. And then the Wee Guard, the, going with the white re Wee Guard, uh, I think was the right choice. So uh, these jigs are killer. Again, one of the great benefits, you don't need a trailer. Uh, this Zonker does everything. Uh, when you're fishing it on the bottom, uh, this Zonker will float up off the bottom and these claws will come out. And uh, especially when they're wet. 
and they'll actually move on their own uh, with very little movement. And then if you guys watched the video last week uh, with the Ned rigs and you saw that flowing action in the water, um, same thing. This is, you know, you could swim these and you don't even need a swim jig trailer. So these make a great swim jig. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is definitely a different pattern. So maybe it's something you guys have never seen before. Um, if you like what you saw, again, uh, give me a like down below and share the video. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with me while I tied this up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,